welcome back. Welcome if you're new. Y'all, happy new year. Happy new beginnings and happy first day of the rest of your life. That's my new motto. Every morning I wake up, happy first day of the rest of your life. What we gonna do with it, y'all? What we gonna do with it? The possibilities are endless. So, that's my new motto for this year. We getting it together. It's all about us. Y'all, tell them kids, I said, go sit down, get out your way. Because today is about you. I mean, of course, you still gotta feed them. Check their homework and all that. But you still, you gonna get you a little spot in this, this, this 2023. Put your name on the map. But yeah, I'm just messing with y'all. That's where, that's how I'm feeling. You know, it's my year. So, this is the year that it all works out for me. But anyway, y'all, I found a new Goodwill. Well, I found it, but they were having a problem opening because they couldn't get employees, right? So they got enough. I just called down there and they're open. So they're talking about, you want to come down here and work? I said, girl, do you want to get out my face? <laughs> Child, I couldn't lift all that stuff. I would love to because I would be able to get first dibs. But I can't lift and you know, I'm disabled, so I can't do it. But child, I would have jumped at the chance because um, you get first dibs on what comes in. Not that, you know, of course I would pay the fair price for it. You know what they ask, but at least we see it first. So anyway, I'm rambling. But I found it. I'm going to take y'all down here. I'm going to see what they got. And then we're going to go home and take the box in that I didn't take in last night. I had a strength. That bar cart is heavier than I thought it was going to be. And I'm going to show y'all. It's a good deal. So once I get home and open it up, y'all going to jump on. Actually, no. Yeah, wait till I put it together. So we'll see what it looks like once I put it together. Then, y'all, I'm going to show you how to get it for $48. $48. Yes. So, um, it's a really nice one, and I, I needed something for that spot. And I, so I saw it. The one that I have wouldn't fit there, and I have that outside on the um, balcony anyway. So, um, and then that one from, uh, y'all, <laughs> that one I got from, oh, the street is so bumpy. The, um, what's the name of that place? Five Below? Save your $20. Like I said, it's, if all you have is $20 plus tax and you really need to set up a bar cart because you want to do things in um, YouTube, then it's something you could get. It ain't something you could really use good. You can't put nothing heavy on it. Um, you can use that. Uh, but if you collect up all your Christmas money and you run down here and you get the one for $48, you have something going on. It was originally $129 or $139. So wait till we get home. I'm going to open that up. But anyway, we're almost up here at Goodwill. I'm going to pull y'all out in here. This is a new one. Brand new one. Down in Alice, Allen, Texas. If you guys are... um, It's on Greenville Avenue and Maine. And you know McDermott. Coming in from Plano into uh, Allen. McDermott turns into Maine. So um, it's right where... The old antique shop that I, the antique booth that I had is right there. It's right there. Caroline told me about it first. And um, that it was coming. So I've been checking on it ever since. So we're going to run down here. I'm going to take y'all in here. Now the antique booth was huge. I don't know what the, what the uh, all Goodwills are remodeling to look the same now. Um, but I don't know if they did this one like that. Because when I tell you that antique um, mall, it was huge. So I'll, I'll see, once we get there, it's gonna be new to me and you, and we'll check it out. And if you're in the area, the DFW area, like I said, it's in Allen, Texas, on Greenville in Maine. The uh, Dirt Cheap used to be over there, across the street from it. Um, and Big Lots used to be across, they all closed down. Oh, it's, I don't know what's down here nowadays, because I ain't been down here in about a year. So, this is my first time coming down this way. But coming in from Plano, Frisco area, if you're on McDermott, it's going to run you right into Maine. And it's a couple blocks from the, from where it changes over to Maine. Alright, y'all. I'll be back. Y'all, correction. 
the Goodwill is where the dirt cheap was. I done been across the street. I must have misunderstood Caroline. I thought she was saying at the antique booth, but she must have been saying across the street. Anyway, Caroline, I'm sorry. Cha, it's at the dirt cheap. I got here. Again, this is a big store though. So we're gonna go in here and see what we can find. I'll be right back. Ain't too many cars out here either. I'll be right back. Okay, y'all. Came out of Goodwill. So I'm gonna show y'all real quick the little bit of footage I got. Now I got some. They had this dining room table by itself. I couldn't find a price on it. It was black. Really nice wood. Oh, round one with a nice pedestal. And then they had another one that had some painting to it and it had four chairs to match i couldn't see that price either but i forgot to go back because this chick was in there coughing like a maniac like i mean un illegal coughing you know what illegal coughing is is when you don't cover your mouth even when you cough and it was loud it was raw it was wet it was, i got out the store <laughs> i was so mad but anyway let me show y'all um, the little bit I did get before the coffer started and that and I'm gonna have to do a um, voiceover on it. So uh, Hold on y'all. Hey y'all. Welcome back y'all. This is when I was uh, entering Goodwill This is the new Goodwill. It's over where the dirt cheap was in Allen, Texas but um, It's big in there. It's got a lot. They got a lot of room in there. Okay. This is the first thing I saw look at that table y'all with that nice pedestal base I don't know how much that was. They didn't have a price on it. But look at this one. This one was $101 for the set. Right? And it had the four chairs. I'm going to show you up close on the chair in a minute. Look at that. Somebody did this. Somebody, you know, took some time and redid this. But it's really nice. If you're into that country farm, farmhouse feeling, inside, this is a nice set for $101. Run down there and get it. And then they had um, these stools. They were $7.07 a piece. They did not go with that table. They were just sitting there. But they looked maybe Ikea-ish or somewhere else. They had a little foot, uh, uh, you know, bar too. This vase I thought was so cute. Really tall. I mean, it was taller than me. It has a hole up there so you could stick like some, maybe some branches or something in it. But really nice. It was metal. And it was $10.01. That wasn't bad. This store... Is really nice. They have um, that. This was a, a wrought iron co uh, coat tree, you know, hall tree. Um, I couldn't get y'all to see the price on there, but it was like twelve. I think twelve, twelve, or twelve twenty-one, or something. I had had asked the lady. That I thought was cute, but for eight dollars, it was just too much. Yeah, team too much. So, and they don't have a tag sale yet. They said they're too new, yet they didn't get the tag sale in there yet. So, it will be coming, the color tag of the week. These were cute, too. I thought, you know, they had some nice pieces on here. So, I, you know, I didn't get a lot. There was a coughing lady, a lady that was coughing like crazy and uncontrollable. I got out of there. I didn't stay that long. That was cute. That was a cute little vase there. They had some really cute little things. Look at that, y'all. I didn't buy it. You see that mustard vase? I'm going to show you better up close. Oh, no, I think I come back over there and y'all see it. But, yeah, they had some cute pieces. I didn't buy any of that. Y'all see what I had, what I did buy at the end of this video. I did do a little haul for you. I bought a couple, just a couple pieces. But you'll see. Look at those little um, bookends. They were cute. And that little thing, it was cute, but, you know, trinkety. Again, something I don't need. I ain't buying this is the year of finish it. Look at that green vase right there, y'all. That was gorgeous. And then I go back to get the other vase and put it next to it, I believe. Yeah, you see? And again, a grouping like that, they don't have to be the same thing, but it does work. Or even in different sides of the room, that would look nice. Here's another vase, that um, Mother of Pearl look-ish thing. There's the bookends again that I was talking about. They're cute. Have that vintage book flare with the flowers on them. Really cute. I didn't even look at the price of those. That vase down the bottom, that white, I considered it and then said, nope, you don't need it. And uh, again, like I said, they have a lot of, you know, it's a new store. They just opened on Tuesday. And when I tell you it's a lot of stuff in there, I don't know how long this is going to last with Goodwill. Some of their prices were still crazy, but some of them was reasonable. I was shocked. Some of their things were, look at this little yellow boot. I had, I thought I was holding it in my hand, $2.02, .02, matte black, 
uh, you don't need it. Put it back. <laughs> That's exactly what I said to myself, y'all. I was like, put it back. You don't need it. Yes. So again, all any it's, it's something in there for everybody with everybody's style. It was a cute little bank for a boys' room, a little baseball, and um, yeah, just cute stuff. The rest of it, I mean, it's just something for everybody. All look at the little dog. I considered him the little bulldog. If I go back up, you'll see him. He's white. I have one that's white, right? And I thought, oh, and then I said, nope, you don't need it, and walked away. There he is, right there. So cute. He's a cutie. But no, he had to stay there for somebody else. And um, then they had some nice glassware too. Now, I didn't get a chance. I'm going to go back and do a full, thorough walkthrough. Um, but again, this woman was in there coughing uncontrollably with no, nothing to her mouth. No mask, not even her hand to her mouth or her elbow. Look at that. Y'all put those, those two together, those two vases there. I had put those together and eventually I went back and got it, found another one and put it with there. So it was like a trio. None of them were the same, but the grouping was really nice once I did that. Then they had these little Uncle Sam's uh, stocking holders and other little stuff, you know, just Goodwill stuff. But look at these glass bottles. Not that. This right here. Look at that. Yo, I didn't buy them. I, I said, where can I put them? Nah, nothing came to mind, and I walked away. I would have loved to have those, though, for that texture. Even in clear, that was nice. Then there's a Mikasa clock right there. It, it was coming loose, and uh, it's pretty crystal clock, but just nothing I needed. Then they have these. This is good storage for your cleaning stuff, if you could hang that somewhere. But again, I didn't have a place to hang it, so it stayed there. They had two of those there. Nice little pieces of wall hanging things, you know, different things. Pieces of metal. And um, all of these things. Thanks, sugar honey. I won't be buying them. <laughs> but yeah. Yeah, I didn't, nothing I needed over there. They had some nice... Like, you know, when the store first opens, if you are in the area, the DFW area, it's at Greenville in Maine, y'all. And it's where the dirt cheap used to be, not the antique booth. It looks like the antique booth is still there. That was a cute uh, pewter vase. I considered it and said, nope, you don't need it. You got enough vases. You just got rid of a bunch. And you see, put it back. Look at that bike. I thought that would be so cute for the balcony. Then I thought, you don't even know what you want to do out there, girl. No, it's too bad. You ain't getting it. I think it held a wine bottle anyway, but I would have put greenery in it. Yep. And look at that. I thought that was so cute. A little boy. That's a, it's, it's a toy. It's very lightweight. It was, uh, you know, for a toy. But it, I just remembered little boys playing cowboys back in the day. And again, a lot of this metal stuff that you can easily change from one thing to another. Like that basket right there, you can... So if you're a uh, seamstress, you can make a little liner in there and put towels in there and store them. And again, all of this metal stuff, you know, cute. I made a little grouping there, too. Look at that. That was wood, y'all. Shellacked wood. That was nice. But again, I ain't couldn't in my mind, couldn't find where to put it. I ain't doing no more storage. Look at that. Look at those chess pieces. That was cute. In that box, then there's the chess board at the, the underneath. And then they had a, not, a lot of little wood trays and different things you can use. Um, it was a cute mirrored frame down there. So, again, that little ball with the uh, string going around it, that was cute. Look at those, y'all. Look at those. Oh, they, I didn't buy them. I was like, I, no, you don't have nowhere to store this. And then look at that. The gardener, the lady outside doing gardening, and then she comes in to get some wine. <laughs> So, they, again, it was a lot of nice, um, those champagne glasses there were uh, $2 and some cent a piece. I was like, nah. But they had some cute pieces. I did find some, and I'll show y'all in the haul. You'll see it at the end of this video, the haul. I did get those. You'll see those in the haul. But, again, I bought those because, remember, my new bar cart, I needed some barware. And I'm going crystal, and I'm trying to add, like, a touch of wood on there. Some kind of nice, natural wood. And uh, I got some crystal pieces already, but I thought those glasses would work with the crystal. Even though they're not crystal, they would work on there. 
just two little glasses. I picked, they were 77 cent a piece. And then, um, it's a lot of, they had a lot of, uh, nice pieces, but I just didn't need them. That was a cute colander. Didn't have a price on it, but I, again, I don't need a colander right now, but that was a nice and good shape colander. And then I think I just show y'all a little bit more of what was in here, but a lot of pots and pans. I, gla I gave, um, mm, glanced down the aisle and there was no Le Creuset, so I kept it moving. You know, the only thing I'm looking for is Le Creuset. I could spot it a mile, even though I... Okay, so now I'm headed to Kroger because I had my whole menu put out for today, set out for today, but I didn't take my chicken out to cook it. It's frozen. So, I'm going to stop and pick up a couple pieces, like a four piece from Kroger. And, um, probably Kroger. I don't know nowhere else I could get it. Huh. I don't feel like stopping. I really don't want to go in Kroger. I would really like to just go through a drive through because I'm spent. I'm beat. I'm worn out. With just a little bit, I ain't do nothing but go to Goodwill. <laughs> and walked around in there for a while, but I don't know why I just feel so over it. But I know why, because I got to go back in and do this uh, bar cart. And I'm going to do that with y'all. So, give me a minute. Let me figure out where get my bearings right, and I'll be back. I'm going to show y'all what I got from I did pick up a couple things, but hold on, y'all. All right, y'all. I'm going to show y'all what I got from Goodwill. Yes, I know. I just pulled up at Kroger, but um, I wanted to show y'all this before I went in so I don't have to worry about doing it when I get home. Look, y'all. Are these gorgeous? Y'all, they don't... It just says sample tag. Program name. Like, this was like a, um, a sample type of thing. And they had two more. Um, on the other ones... I'm going to show y'all. One second. Look at that yellow in that glass. Can y'all see that? Where it's clear here and then it goes down to yellow all the way down to the stem. Like a yellow glass. Y'all, you get two for four oh four. Now they didn't have any sales. The new store said they don't have um sales yet because it's too new. The store is new. Oh, it's so hot. It's 75 degrees out this piece. So uh -uh. I need some cross ventilation here. But yeah, two for four dollars and four cents. Ain't that cute? And then not only did I find the wine glass, and I only got two, um, and I said, you know, for a two-piece, it's not bad. Here, and again, look at how the tag is, right? It's like, it says sample tag, program name, vendor, supplier, and you put all of these part things on here. It says CKK Home Decor. And then the item name, what does it say? Oh, champagne glass in shoebox not bad so i don't know anyway look at that so i got the champagne glass and the wine glass two piece they were 404 a piece but you know what in home goods i would have paid 4.99 for each glass and i like them i will find something to do with them and then and i know all of that i'm not thirsty but yo i got rid of um those right there can go in my closet for, you know, when I do set the table for something. I got two of these because I got rid of a lot of my mugs and this fits my kitchen right now, right? So nice big mug. These are by that company in Portugal, you know, with the B. Yeah, I got some plates to match this too. But look at that with the rooster. This matches my kitchen. It's green and it got the rooster. So, and it's not a busy rooster, you know? So I got two of them and they were a 77 cent a piece. And then, you know, I'll pick up one of these in a minute. This was 99 cent, Ray done. So it just says family. I thought that was cute. And this was 70, it was 99 cents because it was more. But their mugs are, I think 77 cents or 55 cents, but I think they're 77. Because Goodwill had went up to that. Then, I got two of these. So, all I got was the mugs and these glasses, right? And one other thing for... But no. And then I got these for uh, the bar cart. 
Y'all know I'm getting ready to go put that apart. I thought these would be cute for the bar cart. Look at that. I'll drink to that. <laughs> and they're just cute little um, can-like glasses. I got two of them. And they were 77 cents a piece. Too. So, I'm going to just sit them on there. I'm going to work with some crystal that I have. Barware. I was actually looking for something wood. To go on the bar cart so I could do wood and crystal on the bar cart. But I didn't find any barware that was wood in there. And then I got one, oh, two other things. Where's it at? Right underneath it here. Let me put this back. Ooh, 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 ooh. I'm playing around with these glasses. One minute, y'all, one minute. I got one other thing to show you. Two other things. This I got for 99 cents. It is a marble frog. I'm going to say stone because I don't know if this is marble. It feels like it could be marble, but it's stone. Look at the little frog. I got this for outside on the balcony for the spring. For 99 cents, it's like a paperweight type of thing so it can hold something down if it's a breezy day. Um, and then I found this. Now, this is not something I would pick up for resale because I don't think these have the best resale anymore. This is a Cole Haan crossbody. And I have, but you know what? You see, it's big enough. It's really nice on the inside. It was $7.99, right? Really nice on the inside. A lot of pockets on the inside, a couple pockets on the side. But I've been carrying this size lately, crossbody, when I'm out doing my shopping and whatnot. And, um, you know, I, I, it's a gold color, you know, but I don't care nothing about the color really, but it is more neutral than that light blue that I've been carrying. So I think I'm going to switch up, clean this up, switch up and carry this one and throw my stuff in there. Um, because, uh, they're so convenient when you're out, your hands are free and you don't have to leave your bag in the cart and walk away by mistake and all. So Kohan doesn't sell resale wise as much as it used to because it used to be very high end um you got it it would wait for a while but it does um it's still good quality leather in a good bag so i got that but that was all i got two mugs for the kitchen two glasses for the bar cart because that's what i was actually going in there looking for some barware and jadeite of course and then i got um those wine glasses and champagne glasses because that's just like you pick you find it when you see it and you pick it up so for eight dollars and eight cents i would have paid 20 for all four of those at home goods or somewhere you know um but yeah so that's what i got and then that of course ray dunn mug that, that'll go up my coffee stash i cleared that out very well i mean the only thing i got left is ray dunn starbucks I got that Tabitha Brown mug. I kept that. I love that. That one with the green um, 70s vibe. And then um, I got Le Creuset. And that's it. I got a bunch of Le Creuset mugs. But so, and I do, will pick up a Ray Dunn here or there when I see it. But yeah, that's it. So I did, buy, on the day I said, I'm done shopping. <laughs> I did buy. But I got stuff, like I said, if I can't use it and won't use it, I ain't buying it. So... I'm going to go home and put this thing together, but first I got to run in here and grab some chicken. I got to grab some chicken and then I'll be back with y'all. And you know what? As a matter of fact, I'm going to put this up and then I'll pop back on for a new video, which will come out tomorrow for the bar cart. That's what I'm going to do because this video is going long. All right, y'all. I'm going to talk to y'all later. Let me run in here to Kroger and get some chicken. I'm going to edit this video and I'll get it up for y'all today. And then the bar cart will come out. I'll, I'm going to tape it today so you'll see the same get up. And um, But I'll put it up for tomorrow. All right, y'all. So I'll talk to y'all soon.